Hi, my name is Samantha Maliti, and I'm a National Vice President and Independent Consultant with Arbonne. Today I'm going to be showing you the simple steps to create a great eye. It's easy, convenient, and even for the busiest person, it's easy to learn to do. The Arbonne Eye Makeup products were all created to deliver enhanced color and lasting performance without sacrificing purity. The eye collection gives you the tools to create effortless beauty looks for day or night. Before you start any makeup, you will want to cleanse and moisturize your face to make sure you are starting with a clean canvas. Ask your consultant which Arbonne skincare regimen would be best for your skin. To apply the makeup, I like to use the Arbonne brush set. Here are my first pro tips. Start your makeup with the eyes. This is so great because you can clean up any excess color that may have dropped below your eyes before you actually do the rest of your face. The first step starts with prime and proper eye makeup. The primer helps prevent shadows from creasing and fading while allowing color to really stay true and in place. It also helps your lids appear smoother and more lifted. Here's another one of my pro tips. Look down for about 15 seconds to let the primer dry for a seamless base. Step two, it's all in the eye's eyeshadow. Pick out some shades for your eyes, one for the lid, the second for the crease, and the third for right on the upper area right below the brow. The colors are so richly pigmented and the shadows feel really, really silky. They apply so evenly and blend easily to create the perfect shadow color effect. The shadows are available in 24 shades with matte, satin, and shimmer finishes. Each color can be purchased individually as well as in six prepared duos. For a day look, I'm going to give you some suggestions that are really pretty for light to medium skin, but you can work with your consultant to customize your look. Today I'm going to be using quartz on the lid, dawn on the crease, pebble in the outer crease, and slate on the brow bone and inner tear duct. I'm going to start applying quartz using the all over eye brush from the lid to just below the brow bone. Next, the shading brush. I'm going to use dawn in the crease following your natural curve of your eye. Here's another tip. The reason I use a shading brush is because the smaller the shadow brush, the more intense the color, and the larger the brush, the softer the color. Then, also with a shading brush, I'm going to apply pebble in the outer crease to add depth, and I'm going to put some under the outer area of the bottom lashes as well. Finally, take the all over shadow brush and apply slate on the brow bone and in the inner corner of your eye to add a little highlight. It's really great to have a wonderful highlighting shadow in your collection because this will add a little glisten to the eyes and really make them brighten up. Next, I'm gonna line my eyes. There are two techniques you can use. I'm gonna show you how to line the eyes for a day look with It's a Fine Line Pencil Eyeliner and Carib. The color really blends easily, but once it dries, it doesn't feather or smudge. You start at the outer corner of the eye with a pencil and glide the pencil gently on the eyelid towards the inner corner. It gives you the most picture-perfect line. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then you're going to do the same underneath the outer bottom lashes. When I finish underneath the eye, I like to just take my ring finger and smudge it a little bit. It softens the look and helps to blend it all together. If you prefer a more defined eye for a day or a more dramatic eye at night, use the It's a Fine Line Liquid Eyeliner in either Arbor or Eclipse. I like to use Arbor for a day look. I love this liner because the felt tip fits really comfortably in my hands and allows me to create an easily precise controlled line. Dip the brush in the liquid color and gently remove the excess against the rim of the tube. Use small feathered strokes, line directly next to your lash line and build to your liking. Here's a tip. Once the line is complete, keep your eyes closed for a count of 10 just to let the liquid dry before opening. If you're creating a night look, you can swap the shadow colors and use sunstone for the lid, sequoia and onyx in the crease, and opal under the brow as a highlight. For more intensity, line your lashes with onyx. Next, it's time to focus on the brows, my favorite part. You're going to use Shape It Up Brow Pencil and Tinted Brow Cream. Many people overlook this step, but well-done brows really frame the eyes and actually help define the whole face. The brow pencil is really easy to blend with the attached brush as well. The color glides on so easily and lets me create looks from natural to dramatic depending on my mood. I'm using Shape It Up Brow Pencil in Dark. Feather the pencil to your brows where needed, starting on the inside where you might want more color and working out to the outside where you might want less color. Line the bottom and the top of your brow and take the brush end of the pencil and brush through just to blend a little. The Shape It Up Tinted Brow Cream will let you finish the look with maximum color, hold, and style. 
It holds your brows in place all day for a natural soft hold. I'm using Shape It Up Tinted Brow Cream in medium dark. The finishing touch is our fabulous It's a Long Story mascara, of course. The key benefit of this clinically tested water-resistant and long-wearing formula is that it's designed to promote the appearance of longer, healthier lashes. Who doesn't want that? To apply, coat the top of the lashes first and then come just underneath and curl them with a the brush. The professional brush has a flexible, uniform bristle design, which helps create beyond beautiful lash by lash definition. If you'd like a more defined look, gently go underneath the eyes with mascara to lightly coat those little lashes. Here's another tip. To avoid mascara hitting your upper lid, apply while looking down in the mirror. Now your eyes are gorgeous. You're ready to finish your face. But first, let's clean up under the eye with our Easy on the Eyes Eye Makeup Remover. You're just gonna use a cotton pad or cotton swab if needed. And that's it. Your eye look is complete, you're beautiful, you're ready to go. Make sure that your makeup continues the good work that your skincare routine starts, and that everything you put on your face is pure, safe, and beneficial. Because when you look great, you really do feel great too.